Welcome to the wild world of modding, where the only thing more complicated than a hydraulic harvester is figuring out why your textures are suddenly invisible or checkerboard. You're here to learn how to convert mods from FS22 to FS25. Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Converting mods isn't exactly a plug and play process. It's more like a plug and pray process. You'll be wrangling XML files, troubleshooting textures, and maybe even making peace with a few Lua errors along the way. But hey, that's the life of a modder, right? I must also warn you for your own safety and sanity that during the filming of this video to convert this stupid vehicle, I broke one keyboard, cussed five times, and decided that I absolutely needed a beer. Now, if you're new to modding, this might be a little too big for your britches. I'm talking about trying to lasso a bull in your Sunday best here. But don't worry, I'll do my best to walk you through every step and keep things as painless as possible, but there will be some pain. So grab your modding toolkit, a strong cup of coffee, and maybe a backup plan just in case. But let's dive in and watch me before you do. Because during this process, I make intentionally a few errors that you will make along the way that maybe this video can prevent you from doing that. I tried my very best to simplify the whole process as best as I could, but even myself, at the very end of this series, you'll see that I was done. I was done trying to do this because there is a lot of obstacles and errors that you have no control of that are going to get in the way. It's not impossible, but long road. Step one, test before you tinker. Before you dive into the deep end, start simple. Open your mod in FS22 and make sure it doesn't throw a temper tantrum. If it's causing errors here before converting it to FS25, it'll be like trying to fix a leaky pipe with duct tape. Messy and doomed to fail. Consider this step your pre-flight check. No errors in FS22, fewer headaches in FS25. And to those individuals that do not own a copy of FS22, good luck. You're still, there's still hope, but... Skipping this step is like trying to fix a mystery tractor blindfolded. Without FS22 to run the mod, you're kind of flying blind. And trust me, errors that exist now will totally hitch a ride straight into FS22. If this isn't your mod and you didn't run this pre-test, brace yourself. You might be signing up for a scavenger hunt of troubleshooting errors later. <laughs> now that I've loaded my mod up in game and checked the dev log here to make sure that the log text does not have any errors, I am good to start with the conversion process. So what I'm going to do now is actually move my zipped mod that I want to convert into my FS25 mods folder, and I'm just going to paste it in here. It's currently zipped up, so we're going to need to unzip it. But before I unzip it, I would like you to rename it and use this format, FS25 underscore whatever your mod name is. Mine is Aircraft Polar. And I don't recommend using any more underscores after you do the first one. I have found errors when uploading to servers. If you put a underscore like here, like I had before, I've had people tell me that it won't load on their server. So deleting that and just capitalizing for easier reading uh, is what I suggest. After you do that, click off of it. And we're gonna unzip it. I use 7-zip. It's free and it's awesome. So yeah, I recommend that one. Now using 7-zip, I'm going to go to its little window right here. And instead of hitting extract all, I want it to actually make its own folder. So where it says extract to FS25 underscore aircraft polar with a slash. Okay, we're going to have it do that. And it's going to make our own folder right here. Now, I would recommend in case you mess this up to save a copy of the mod or move this folder out of here. We don't want two copies. Even though this one's zipped and this one's unzipped, we do not want the two in here. So because I have a copy of this already, I'm just going to delete the zipped file and start working out of this folder. Inside of your mods folder, you are going to see a XML document called mod disk with a capital D. Okay, super important that that is a capital D. What I want you to do is to open that up. What I'm using is Notepad++. Do not use a text editor. Use Notepad++. It is also free and awesome. I am not sponsored by either one of these companies. I just use their software. At the very top of the document, at the time of recording this video, it is mod disk version 
94. So we're going to be changing that. If you don't know what the mod disc version is, that is uh, the version of the game, essentially, uh, you can find this information in your log.txt file, which in most cases, this is not going to be for all. It will be located under Documents, My Games. I have a Windows 10 computer. I bought this game on Steam. I don't know what it might be for you. If you cannot find it, just do a search on your computer for Farming Simulator 2025. Once you find that, at the very bottom down here is going to be a log text. This log text is awesome because it has all of the errors and stuff. And also, it has the current disk version that we are going to be extracting. You can easily just use a Control F to find and look up mod disk and it'll have version 94 inside of here. If you're a Patreon and one of my modding students, you soon will have access to my completely new log scanner that will auto-locate your log for you and highlight all the reds and categorize them into errors. So these are all the errors in the last testing I did. Uh, you can also go through and increase the font size, change it bold, Maybe you have warnings or Lua errors, and then you can also search the document. This software has no affiliation with Giants or Farming Simulator, and it can be used for any game log or piece of data that has the word errors, warnings, or Lua errors in it. So it is available on my Patreon, probably about the time you see this video. Next, come right down to author and just go ahead and throw your name in here. Uh, I would suggest, so make sure you have permission from the original authors to make this conversion if you're going to make it public and not just for personal use. You should have permission. This is basic 101 modding ethics. When I was new to modding, I did not know about this and I failed to do this for others. I'm warning you now, converting other people's stuff will piss them off. End of rant. Because this is a new version for Farming Simulator 25, I would suggest you just do a new version as 1000, like that. Uh, this doesn't really matter in the grand scope of things. It just looks pretty and lets people know that this is a brand new iteration for FS25. You come down here, and the next thing I want you to do is you need to ensure that the store slash store dot DDS, and this is going to be different per mod, but this icon file name and this file path need to match up. So open up your mod, and what we're going to do is we're going to look for that was under store. And then if we look in here, I have a store.dds of my mod right there. So that file path is good. One of the next things we need to do is identify if the mod has any custom Lua scripts or additional files that may not be compatible with FS25. For the time being, uh, I don't know if this Lua works or not. And let's say that I'm not smart enough in a lot of cases I'm not to understand if this Lua works or not. I will tell you that if this Lua does not work, it will keep you from getting your mod in the game successfully. So, temporarily, I want you to highlight everything. If you find anything in extra source files, if you find anything in specializations, I want you to highlight the source file code section or the specialization section and just hit block comment on here. And what this will do is it'll block the information from being told to the game. And this can just be a temporary method until we can get it working. And you also, so I know for a fact that this change mod title and categorizer, I know that this code directly inter works with this Lua. So I need to block out this comment as well. If it has a vehicle type section right here, you're going to want to make sure that whatever specialization that was assigned in this category here, I don't have any specializations on this mod. You want to make sure that that specialization, let's pretend that tension belts was installed, a special version of tension belts was installed through specializations, and we would have to assign that specialization to the vehicle here. Let's say I didn't want that, and I hit block comment, because this specialization, we blocked it from being installed up here, so we need to block it from being installed here as well. But this is tension belt, so I'm going to uncomment that. If the mod you're converting has any brands, you want to also ensure that this file path right here for the image is where it is expected to be. I currently expect it to be in the folder Lambo Mods, Brands, Brand. Let's double check that. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go into Lambo Mods. I'm going to go into my Brands folder, and I have a brand that has my logo on it. That is clean and clear. It goes exactly from folder to folder to DDS. Now, this uses a custom schema. Uh, 
you would here's another file path here you would need to go through and verify i'm not going to do this every single time to kind of speed up the video but you'll need to verify file paths anytime you see a file path you need to make sure that in schema folder directly underneath the mod disk we're going to come up here schema 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 right here and it says polar schema if we go back to our mod disk we are solid so my schema is there you can have edited schemas in mods without having to have a Lua, so this will work with the current version of the game. Next, we're going to move on to the store items, which could be a lot here. You can have tons and tons. Let's just say there was tons of vehicles in this pack, which I have. I have lots of pack, like my police pack, all that kind of stuff. I have lots of stuff with multiple vehicles in there. What I recommend you do is just do one at a time. So highlight everything but one XML. Come here and go block comment. And then once you get this one working in game with zero errors, all the changes you want done to it, then move on to the next one. After that, you may have some, some input bindings and you know this is getting in a little bit more advanced. You should be able to leave this stuff the same if you're converting from 22. Once we're done with everything, you're gonna wanna make sure to just hit save on this bad boy. And that is gonna conclude the initial conversion process, working with getting the mod unzipped, testing it, and ensuring the mod disk loads it up properly in FS25. If you are not seeing your mod in the mod loading screen like you see right here, we have the aircraft puller right here. If you are not seeing it in here, you messed up your mod disk. Restart at the back of this video from step one and do it again because it should work as is. The, the vehicle XML has no, no issues that it will cause the mod XML do not load your mod. I'm not saying it's going to work right now because we haven't edited the XML, but your mod disk controls when it's going to be loaded up into the game at the initial start. Now you can load up your mod in game and you should be presented with something ridiculous looking kind of like this. And this is okay. Let's get all the coding done first and then we'll deep dive into textures to help you guys get all this fixed. You will notice at this point, I have yet to open up this model in the new Giants Editor 10. I do not recommend it because the minute you try to open this model, it'll be looking for textures that are not present. Like currently, I have some textures that normally would be in my FS22 folder where I copied this out of, but they're no, it's no longer finding them because we moved the whole mod to a whole new folder. So if you open up Giants Editor and then you hit save, it'll permanently break these connections and you'll have to reapply them all. So do not open up Giants Editor yet. But using our dev commands, which I've covered in a multitude of videos, please go watch them if you don't know what I'm talking about. I have a whole playlist series for you guys. But inside of there, I show you how to open up your dev, your dev commands so we can properly look through and see what some issues are. And we can right off the bat see that a lot of lights have some issues, which is to be expected. Next up, I have collision issues, which is to be expected. There's been changes to lights, collisions, and a couple other things. So we're gonna we're gonna need to go in and fix those collisions and lights. Also, it's missing an exact fill root node for fill unit number one. Trying to do shaders, it's gonna have a lot of shader issues because there is sounds and stuff. Uh, and lights that were used in FS22 that things have changed. There are also sound templates uh, like this one here, such as switch turn light on, it wasn't found. And also the sound attach underscore 01 was not found. They've either moved those or renamed those sound templates, such as truck attach. So we're gonna have to fix those as well. Sound template honk was not found in vehicle sound. So we'll have to go found find a, a honk sound a steering wheel this this particular steering wheel has some light at attributes that it uses as well so those are no longer going to work and that is it the extent of your errors if you have a perfectly converted or sorry wrong word if you verified in fs22 that there's no errors there these should be the only errors that you get when your mod loads in fs25 you get other errors besides what you see on the screen here. I recommend trying to fix those in FS22 and then bring them over. But since we're here, we're going to continue on in the next video.